taking the witness stand on the other side of the world. On Sunday night, Cardinal George Pell answered questions by a sex abuse commission in Sydney from Rome via video link. Now in charge of the Vatican economy, Pell was a senior priest in his native Ballarat and later the Archbishop of nearby Melbourne from the 1970s to the 90s, when tens of children were abused by priests. The Commission wants to know whether he knew and why he didn't do anything about it. Pell said he was too unwell to travel to Australia to face the Commission in person, a claim that sparked widespread outrage and a crowdfunding campaign that raised more than $150,000 in a week to cover travel expenses to Rome for 15 survivors. We're not here to intimidate him or anything, but he's got to look at our faces, the ones who have been damaged by the clergy. I would love to see George Pell stand up and say, we got this wrong. We didn't handle this well, but we can do better now. You know, we can help the victims now. At 11 years old, David Ridsdale was abused by his uncle, a priest who has since been convicted of 80 counts of child abuse. He was the first survivor to speak out in 1993. He says Cardinal Pell knew both him and his abuser. Cardinal Pell, well he was Bishop Pell then, had been a family friend, I'd known him since I was a child, and he was the bishop of where I was living, so I called him in the hope that he could um, helped me in some way, he said to me, what will it take to keep you quiet? Cardinal Pell will give evidence once a day at least until Wednesday. He's not facing criminal charges, but should the Abuse Commission rule that he either ignored or protected abusers, then his position as Vatican Chief of Economy could become untenable. Claudio Lavanga, Al Jazeera, Rome.